we have the very final crest of Hyperia ready to be lifted up into the edge. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we really are in the end game today. If you watched my last update, you'll know that I was last here on site at the very end of last week. I said that the construction crew would be here working over the weekend. Unfortunately, I was up in the north, up in Blackpool Pleasure Beach for their opening weekend. It, uh, it wasn't the best of days. I wish I was here, to be honest. Um, but no, I said I would return back to the site for probably one last video um, to show you the updates uh, taken place over the weekend before, ultimately, Hyperia's track is completed later on this week. And that is exactly what today's video is. It's not quite the really, really exciting video that I'm already predicting I'm gonna cry in. Today, they have made so much progress that literally within the next few days, weather dependent, of course, Hyperia will be being finished. So yeah, the lift hill now reaches right up to that very top point. We're just waiting for that big piece to be put on later this week. Um, we've also had some deconstruction taking place here on site today, which is strange. We've only had like pure construction for the past few months now. Um, whereas right at the start of this project, we obviously had loads and loads of deconstruction. So I'll be showing you that very shortly. And yeah, I'm here filming at the end of the day. As you can see, we've got a beautiful sunset. So luckily I'm able to kind of head around the entire site and once again, show you all of the updates. But yeah, it's gonna be quite a quick update today. I just wanna show you the very kind of last few bits that they've been working on before the massive day comes. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later on this week. We'll have to wait and see. It's all weather dependent, as I said, but things are looking amazing. So yeah, let's start off by showing you guys the lift hill, which is 98% complete at this point. <laughs> There's honestly such a buzz of excitement here on site today. There's so many workers, like always just looking up at this. Uh, Monks Walk had a massive crowd just over at the fence. I think they've all gone home now. But honestly, just look at this amazing view. Obviously I'm at the very base of the lift hill currently. Look at that. It honestly just stretches up and up. And yeah, obviously the stairs are still waiting to go on. Um, I think they'll be put on after that big bit of track in fact. But yeah, wow, wow, wow. I'm just in awe of this coaster. And yeah, apart from that, they've just gonna be doing small bits of groundwork around here. A lot of the uh, trees have started to go in down the side. In fact, they've started burying off areas um, in order for the trees to kind of have some time to grow and not be disturbed by kind of construction work and stuff. In fact, yeah, we've had loads and loads of reeds planted around this little um, lake here. But yeah, now that the first drop for the ride has been complete, I've seen so many comments online about how this genuinely could be one of the best drops on any roller coaster in the world. And I do agree, like the way you just drop and twist as you go down, oh, it's so exciting. This ride is generally putting not only Fort Park on the map, but the UK in general. I'm so excited that we have a coaster of this scale on our doorstep. Oh, it's a dream come true. I'm gonna be riding this so many times this year, just because I can. I live down the road, it would be rude not to. Just look at how crazy the view you're gonna get as you walk down past Burger King is now. It honestly just stretches right up into the sky and especially on a beautiful sunset evening like today. 
Oh my goodness. But yeah, loads of other sparkle project updates happening around the park. The park know that this is gonna be such a busy area of the park. So yeah, the toilets and the Burger King unit over here are having quite extensive work done to them. But yeah, as I mentioned, for months and months, all we've had is just pure construction. Things have been being built here on site. But today we had a bit of deconstruction. I don't know if you guys remember, but there used to be some um, games units here and yeah, they got torn out today. So I think the plan is to put some trees and planters in here to kind of block off the maintenance bay as much as possible. But yeah, it does really open up this whole area very nicely. And I believe once this ride actually opens, the entrance to this area won't actually be here. The entrance will be just about where the site offices are. So you'll go into Hyperius Plaza this way. And, um, and obviously the queue line will be just behind this area. And there we go, just behind me, we have the very final crest of Hyperia ready to be lifted up into the air. Just behind me, we've got one of the guys from Mac um, just doing some final checks and stuff on it, but yeah. Things are looking amazing. So yeah, the way this is gonna be lifted is literally gonna be lifted up in this exact kind of direction, straight up into the air, obviously 236 feet up, and it will go into place there. Now, interestingly, by the sound of it, um, this won't actually be the final piece to be lifted into place. There's actually a tiny little support column just over there, which will go just into place right there. And that will eventually secure this entire thing into place and then obviously after that I believe all of the stairs will be going up but of course this is the main event isn't it this is the major piece this is the tallest piece of Hyperia and yeah as soon as you go past this point on this ride gravity will be taking you down and you'll be doing this entire layout wow as I said guys I'm starting to get emotional by it all and I believe once this piece goes into place I will <laughs> I might start crying I can't lie but yeah in terms of the plan for when this bit of track does go into place hopefully tomorrow maybe this week all weather dependent as I've said many times um, but yeah the plan for me is I'm actually going to be getting like official photos for the park so I'm going to be quite busy it's going to be a rush day but I will of course be filming a vlog I've documented this entire process so there's no way I'm not going to upload something but yeah I'm going to be hopefully using some Akira and the park's amazing footage I'm going to splice into that video um, obviously my main priority tomorrow is getting some really nice photos which obviously the park will use and news outlets will use and all of that good stuff so yeah it's going to be a really really exciting day when this bit of track goes up it's going to be a stressful one but as i said i'll try and film as much as i possibly can for you guys and that video will come out as soon as possible i'll be editing it as soon as i possibly can but obviously my priority will be those photos which you will be seeing as well but yeah as for today's video as i said i just wanted to film a super quick update but be sure to subscribe for that next video it's going to be a huge one arguably the most exciting video in this entire construction series Hyperia's going to be topped off absolutely crazy so yeah be sure to subscribe and thank you all so much for watching today my name is Jack Silverstone goodbye